All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the games that uh, none of these teams probably would would want to have found themselves in because this is now a elimination game. Winner goes on to a spot in the quarters. Loser relegated to fight for Ninals. Uh, we've got Fishwick from Canberra, nation's capital, coming up against last year's finalist, Brisbane's Mammoth Ultimate Club. We're ready to go, 3 p.m. here in Ballarat, Northern Victoria, country Victoria, rather. It's still chilly, it's still cloudy, it's still a good day for Ultimate. Matthews Hunter puts up the pull into the wind. Abra settles it and moves it to Boothy. Booth with the disc. He puts a big backhand straight away, inside out to Linus. It's a good choice, what a play by Linus. Misses it on the first attempt, collects with the opposite hand. Magnificent play. Great rip by Troy Booth. Good option, Linus goes up once. Has it or does he? I'll just get it with my other hand, he says. Excellent. Uh, use of both hands there every great throw comes off or every great catch comes off the end of a mediocre throw and that one out of the hands of Troy Booth are you like the third generation descendant of Hitler's Aryan Aryan super soldier program with the drug testing Timocles Copland set to pull. Timmy rips it. That's got a uh, ugly edge on it. It does stay in the field of play, but uh, doesn't get the distance he's after. McCallum indicates for the brick, picks up the disc. And we're just about ready to play our second point of this pre quarter final. McCallum comes to the spot. Gets it to Matthews Hunter. Back to McCallum. And gets a gainer to Swan. Swan to Holmes. Holmes, backhand. Has his man. Josh Crow with the grab. Excellent throw by John o. Holmes to get to Crow for the first goal of the game. First goal for Fishwick for the game, one all. Matthews Hunter is set to pull. Each team has converted their offense so far. Wind dies just a bit as that pull goes up. Seb collects it, centers to Abra. Abra to Ginny. Booth with the disc to Garfield. 
Garfield with the disc. Gets to Sebastian Brown. Brown to McNaughton. John McNaughton, a very dangerous throw. High release flick there. Troy Booth. Just dumps to Avra. Garfield. Troy Booth. In front to McNaughton. He collects, not in. Puts it up high, has Linus for the easy goal. 2-1, offense dictates. Cook puts up the pull. McCallum settles under to Matthews Hunter. To McCallum. Back to Matthews Hunter. McCallum gets it again. Now to Philip Swan. Swan back to Matthews Hunter. Effective zone is now melted as we put up a arcing flick to John O. Holmes. Holmes to McCallum. McCallum to Swan, it's too far in front. No, it isn't, he can get there with a slide. His player almost laying out into his lap. He's now got an upline cut, it gets away. And Matthews Hunter sets in for the dump. Gainer to 20, fakes. Now gets the around to McCallum. Holmes gets the break. Pick called. Matthews Hunter with the disc. Elliot gets a point blank hand block and goes for a run. Typically picks up to provide uh, some threat. Now Bainey puts it. McGuckin deep, li deep Linda Boom on the chase. It's McGuckin all day. Now to Murphy. And Mammoth gonna break with a little bit of a slap spike to celebrate. Mammoth up 2-1. Fishwick receives a pull. Matthews Hunter 
Conrad Wallace now with the disc, his first touch of the game. Gets it under to Jackson. Jackson gets it out. Ash Donaldson, far sideline. Gets the under to Hatfield. Hatfield to Stenstrom. Back to Wallace, back to Stenstrom. Wallace looks for it to get the gainer to Jackson. He does. Jackson rips it. His receiver goes the wrong way. Bainey is there. And he gets to watch it go out of bounds first. Mammoth with a chance to break. Luke Bain with the disc. Elliot Cook comes under for him. Cook to Grimmond. Grimmond delivers. He's got two of his big men there. Locke Murphy says, I'll have some of that. McGuckin's still working. Fires it into Bainey. Bainey straight away to Leask. What a string of play for Mammoth. They go up early, 3-1. Pretty on the turnover there and on the transition. Let's have another look at that one. Here's Grimmond. He puts it straight away. Locke Murphy gets big often but gets down here. Great play. Has McGuckin to stretch the field but decides to not force it immediately centers to Bainey and he floats a beautiful one out to Leask. John McNaughton sends the pull up for Mammoth. Gareth Byers watches it drop and Dan Matthews Hunter picks it up. Matthews Hunter to Swan. Swan to Holmes. Holmes puts it. He's got a man. Oh goodness! And a chance for a greatest after a bobble. It was all but counted. And uh, he somehow found something slippery on there. Let it squirt out and then uh, had a second gasp at it. it uh, we're, we're getting some suggestions that it was part of the celebration, but uh, definitely not the case. Disc is in, Timocles Copland gets it to Alex Lees, back to Copland. He sticks it, he's got John McNaughton on Philip Swan, he likes it, but Swan gets there first. Dan Matthews Hunter over the disc, picks it up, puts it to John Holmes. Holmes gets the backhand breakout, has Swan a meter out, pick cold. Disc is in, backhand break, what a play by Alex Leask. Leaves his feet, gets the D in the end zone, prevents the score, chance to break. McNaughton over the disc. Disc is in. McNaughton likes it early, Bonnie's gone, he's got time, he's got space, he's got the disc, he's 10 meters out, 
Here comes the cavalry. Finn gets the disc, he puts it straight away. He's got Alex Leesk. Another break for Mammoth. Up big early, that makes it 5-1. Here it is again. Great layout bid by Alex Leesk to get the turn. And then here we see on the other end, Finn McCarthy Ma Adams moves it quickly. Least puts on a bit of jets and then gets there comfortably for the goal. 5 1, all mammoth in this one. Timeout, Fishwick. And we're ready to pull Elliot Cook for Mammoth as it sails to the other end. Our, uh, our feed tells us that uh, we're showing a South Australian bias. Uh, Ulti TV is, of course, a South Australian production company, but uh, surely just coincidence that Outbreak did get a couple of games in a row. Uh, anyways, with Canberra and Brisbane, John Holmes forwards the disc. He's got it up to Adik Adikiri, and then Wallace can't handle. Grimmin puts it straight away. Can McGuckin get there? Can he read it? Oh, he's bid for it, but just out in front too much. Uh, great athleticism on display there from McGuckin, uh, regardless of his inability to get there. Now Matthews Hunter picks up the disc for Fishwick. And we're in play on a Fishwick possession. He gets Hatfield going up the line. Hatfield in a power position, opts not to huck. Now gets it to Adikiri. He wants the around. He uh, not very comfortable with the disc. He had the last turnover and again, he did that this time, it is Grimmond swatting his throw out of the air to Cook, to Bain. Bain puts a big one, uh, tries to go over Holmes, but not on this occasion. Foul on the throw. Luke Bain calls the foul. Uncontested by Stenstrom. Mammoth disc just under our cameras, and we're in action. Bain wants a break, now gives a cheeky backhand pop to Grimmond. 
puts it up and a great up by Grimmond immediately going to get it. These two play well together, Bain and Grimmond. Back to Bain. Bain to Timocles Copland. Grimmond. Copland. Fakes to Grimmond. Copland goes the other way. He's got Cook all alone with a glorious shot. Great vision. Mammoth well out in front here, six to one. Looking good from the boys from Brisbane. John McNaughton and Mammoth set to pull. Up with a commanding lead, 6-1, pull goes up. Gareth Byers settles under, collects the pull, gets it to Matthews Hunter. Matthews Hunter, ooh, low flick that's turned over, and Mammoth, the Mammoth machine will continue to roll with a quick transition to Brown, 7-1. Fishwick in disarray, has no answers for what Mammoth's doing and self-inflicting these turnovers now. Okay, 7-1, Mammoth with disc in hand, pulling as they have been all game, playing defense. Inside out, pull, arcing shot, Matthews Hunter handles it, McCallum, oh, and throws it straight into Liam Grimmins' diving body to Allen, Grimmins. Bain. Bain loves just bringing his whole body forward for that backhand. Cook now wants to go back to center, wants to cram it. Still looking to cram it. Oh, that was a high stall count inside out. He's got a bid, but Linda Boom still takes it. Stalled at the line. It'll be Fishwick Disc. Seemed to have a dump early in the stall count that he didn't opt for. It'll be Fishwick Disc. Uh, Fishwick so far not able to get their offense going whatsoever. Uh, here's an answer. Holmes puts it deep. Linda Boom there. McGuckin on the chase. Linda Boom hangs on. Locke Murphy goes. And oh, Locke Murphy, great choice to switch as he saw McGuckin had got caught up in the turf. Took his man and gets a beautiful D. Bain squeezes through a huck. McGuckin's there. Too far out the other side. Squeezes it through a lot of contact. I'm sure we're gonna hear a foul from that spot. Uh, discussion out there between 
Bain and McCallum. Uh, suspected foul called as Bain released that there were bodies flying from either direction uh, and didn't close on a very small hole that he even got the disc through. Here's the throw. Fakes, backhand, and there's de there definitely is some contact there while he's let releasing and following through. Justifiable call to some end. Foul, as Ruben indicates, uncontested, as Ruben indicates. We'll uh, check in with him after the point. Here we are back in play, Copland to Bain. Luke Bain rips a big forehand. Cook there, Linda Boom on the chase. It looks good. That's good as count. Eight, whoa, not in though, not in. And now we are to Locke Murphy, collects the goal. Eight, one, Mammoth take half, commanding lead. Before we take our break, uh, we might check in with our advisor. Uh, Ruben, we had a, a little bit of a discussion on that last play. Can you tell us what was happening on the field? Yeah, there was originally a call actually made by the marker. He was calling a foul uh, because there was contact, and then he retracted his call, but the thrower was still calling a foul, and they were just having a discussion whether or not it was going to be contested or not, and they ended up not contested. Excellent resolution. Uh, Halftime 8-1. We'll be back with more action in no time. Very good. That was easy. How long is half? I'm not worried about the 
And we're live. Elliot Cook coming out of the half. Mammoth playing defense. Lachlan Bonney sprinting down the field. Stenstrom with the disc. Forwards to Wallace. Wallace to Hatfield. Hatfield toys with the big one. Throws to Jackson and Timoclees Coplin comes underneath beautifully with a layout to get under AJ and get the turn. Leesk heading towards the disc. Coplin flanking to handle with. <laughs> Rips one straight away. Lachlan Bonney there. The throw didn't have quite enough in on it. Too much outside, perhaps. And Fishwick will take over in their own end zone. Fishwick at the mark. Matthews Hunter. Another bid by Finn, but Stenstrom gets it. Now to Wallace. Wallace to Stenstrom. Back to Wallace with a nice undercut. Now he's dished it big. Locke Murphy on the chase, 88 for K. Oh, what a play by Locke Murphy. Tried to go up, tra ended up going around. Laid out over his left shoulder. Got a beautiful defensive block. Let's have a look again. Can't go right, let's try left, why not? What a play, Locke Murphy. To McLeese, to McCarthy Adams, now Leesk, he wants it, he's given it, he's got McGuckin, Wallace on the chase, too low for McGuckin, hits the ground, he should have got down. Tough one to read with that much blade. Matthews Hunter now on the pickup. Now Wallace. Wallace to Stenstrom. Stenstrom puts it. He's got Jackson versus Copland. Jackson in front, but the disc is too far in front. Mammoth. Another try on O. Oh, we've got a call on the field. I didn't have a clear view on it, but you would have to be perfectly still and legally positioned for it not to be a foul by you. I'm not sure where you were, but... Quite perfectly still, you mean, as a statue? You'd have to be pretty much stationary. Sorry. It sounds like you're not replay. sure. It probably sounds like it's contested. Lee's in front, being told that he would have had to be perfectly still. He was... The oh, it's this throw coming up. Oh, goodness. Yes, I don't know if that call was right. Uh, Leesk did appear to be perfectly still uh, by my estimation, but uh, play goes on. Fishwick disc. He goes the over and around. McManus underneath to Wallace. Wallace looking for Hatfield, and Leesk is all over him right now. Hatfield puts it, gets up to Jackson. Jackson. 
Looking for Hatfield, gets Matthews Hunter, who ends up looking like Locke Murphy, who's got the interception. Now to Leesk. Leesk waiting. Great backhand break to Timocles Copeland, who puts a big one up. He's got McGuckin. McGuckin's got it, 10 meters out now, or less. Locke Murphy all on his own, and in, that would have been one meter out. Murph scores, long point to start the second half but Mammoth still take the long one. Mammoth, pull, couple of O players are given a chance to uh, get in the game, seeing that it's been all defense uh, by Mammoth, uh, defense that happens to uh, capitalize on their transitions. McCallum to Matthews Hunter to McCallum, and a very sloppy drop by Fishwick. It's uh, thematic Troy not in. Booth gives it to Stewart, Stewart is in. 10-1, a landslide of momentum behind Mammoth right now. The herd is moving at their own pace. Please stay on the line until the throw is released. Mammoth set to pull John McNaughton. Lefty, inside out. That is a beautiful pull. They will all but be on the mark by the time Gareth Byers catches it. Now Matthews Hunters and the zone applied in their own end here. See what Fishwick can do against Mammoth's zone. First throw is good to McCallum, gets the swing. Opens up Matthews Hunter. Hunter goes for the hammer, has Holmes. Perry drops. Holmes now to Byers in the middle of the field. Now Fishwick with some momentum. Matthews Hunter with the disc. Gets it across to Holmes. Mammoth scrambled to play D. Uh, sorry, to transition to man. Now Swan puts it out. Has his man. Number five with the disc for Fishwick. Gets it to Matthews Hunter, but it's too high. And Abra Garfield takes over. Abra has Booth going, and you know he wanted to throw it. Took all his restraint not to. And then he throws it out in front of McNaughton. And Fishwick get a chance for a goal line one or two throw. Score, 
if Holmesy can deliver that to Byers, as he does. Two, ten, still for Mammoth, but Fishwick stops the bleeding. And Fishwick with their D line out for the second time of the game. And Matthews Hunter lets her rip. Abra Garfield stops the hop and gives it to Troy Booth. Now to Reese Stewart, now to McNaughton. Right through the cup, McNaughton leads Stewart too far. And Fishwick get a chance to break. A uh, bit of sloppy play out of Mammoth there. And the disc is in. Jackson and McNaughton jostle for position. Jackson gets himself the disc. Now to Stenstrom. Booth gives him a nudge as he arrives. Matthews Hunter now. With the disc, flicks forward, has Jackson. Jackson puts it. He's got Wallace on the run. But that's not making it back in. Abra Garfield to pick up the disc. Garfield now, tapping it in. Perry with the disc, pops it over to McNaughton. Fishwick staying in the zone, now to Stewart. Stewart fakes. Looks to McNaughton, McNaughton, far sideline, a nice little inside out from the hip. Will it count to Chris Brown? Yes, it will. He's in, two feet in the corner. 11 to two, Mammoth continuing to pour it on. Here we go, Elliot Cook, hand up, ready to pull. Sends it, and that's coming out. That's a brick, guaranteed. Possibly a nice catch on the sideline. No, too far for that even. 11-2 for Mammoth, uh, but not the strongest pull on that point from Elliot Cook. So Matthews Hunter will put it back in at the brick mark. Hey, Jimmy, make sure he's covered. He likes to hang behind you guys. 
and we'll see uh, what Fishwick can do against this man defense coming out in a Horo. Has it to Phil Swan. Swan jacks it. He's got Holmes against Grimmond. Liam Grimmond, what a play. Leaves his feet. That's another one for him. He's left his feet two or three times, but none better than that one. Let's have a look again here. Up to Holmesy, and there he goes. Leaves his feet, just enough of a piece of him. Pretty careful around Holmesy. And now he's gone to the races. Now Finn Adams to Leesk. Leesk puts it, he's got Murphy. Murphy, no call good on him. Couldn't handle that one with a bit of pressure on his hip. McCallum steps to the disc. Fishwick get another chance here. Oh, gets a foot on that, but still complete to Holmes. Holmes now gets the gainer. 20 with the disc. Now to Swan. Swan looks to break with the backhand, but finds turf. And Mammoth with another chance. Leesk picks up. Leesk gets McCarthy. Wants Leesk again, he gets him. Now to Allen. Allen to McGuckin. McGuckin to Allen. Allen to Leesk. Effective movement right now by Mammoth. Need their gainer. Get their gainer to lock Murphy up the line. Murphy. Looks for, wants the around, can't get it, throws it away, maybe a little bit of a hand block. Matthews Hunter turns it the other way, quickly has Holmes. Holmes has it, two meters out. Calls a timeout. A little bit of veteran savvy there. Let's slow things down here and uh, start from scratch. Holmes with the disc coming out of the timeout. Grimham greets him. Uh, and we've got a vertical stack flanked by only Matthews Hunter. Looks to break, breaks, but the throw doesn't count. Uh, he wanted the backhand, spun across quick, tried for the forehand break, and it went uh, to the turf. So Leesk walks to the disc to pick it up for Mammoth. And we're in play. It's up, big ones there, Locke Murphy's there. Great hands, he's catching everything today. He puts it straight away, and he's got Liam Grimmond who can't hang on. He's not gonna be happy with himself. 
He's called an injury. Not sure what he's hurt. Let's have a look at the replay here, if we can see what's happened. Murphy gets the grab there, beautiful grab. And he sends it straight away, beautiful throw. And Grimmins, I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, seems to be in a fair deal of pain. Possibly hitting the ground on his shoulder. Uh, slow to get up, but getting up nonetheless. Clapped off the field. Hopefully he's okay. Only time will tell for now. Uh, the unfortunate result is that that was a turnover, and Fisherick will start the other way. Salt in the wounds of an injury to some end. Matthews Hunter collects the disc. And Fishwick start off from their vertical stack. McCallum cuts under, gets a nice cut. Now gets it to Byers. Byers gets it to 20. Now to McCallum. McCallum, he's put it. Byers is there. Cook is there. But Byers has himself a goal, 311. Fishwick still a bit of a heartbeat. Fishwick with the pull. Sebastian Brown to collect. Straight to Abra. Garfield to Booth. Booth back to Garfield. Abra puts it straight away. He's got McNaughton. This will count. He's got Perry on the run. Perry chooses the right way. McNaughton waits it perfectly. Easy catch in the end zone. 12-3 Mammoth. The finish line is near. Let's go, dude. Let's go, boy. You want to Yeah, hey, bro. Great shot to John. <laughs> McNaughton set to pull here. Great throw from Garfield to McNaughton on that last one. Another ripper throw from John McNaughton. McCallum collects to Matthews Hunter. These two uh, handled together on a Blue Bottles campaign a few years back in Toronto with this fella, Copland, who's picked it up on the other side of the disc. 
He dumps to McNaughton. McNaughton gets it to Copeland. Copeland going with the ridiculous furry hat. Gets it to McNaughton. Looking for a few more unders and says, well, if you're not going to come under, I'm just going to have to rip it to you, Alex Leesk. And he's found him in the end zone. Didn't get the unders, so made do with an incredible backhand rip. Well done, John McNaughton. Mammoth up, 13-3. to three. Let's have another look. All right, let's just rip it over everybody right into Leesky's basket. We're in action here. Wallace with the disc. Now to Matthews Hunter. Oh, Finn wants a piece of this uh, block party. But Hatfield holds on. Now to Wallace. Wallace pops to Hatfield. Hatfield. Akiri, 52. Now to Stenstrom. Stenstrom looking for options. Has his upline. Doesn't like it. Goes across to McManus. McManus to Jackson. Jackson gets it to Wallace. Wallace looked to continue, now looks the other way. Gets it out in front, he wanted Jackson too far for him and the uh, Pochi defense was the closest thing to it there. Got a big uh, point on behind us. Clench versus Dogma to stay up, 10-10. Dogma were up big in this game by as many as three or four. Uh, and another uh, tight situation for Clench could be a third universe point game, uh, which would be crazy. Finn now has a chance to get under that, but well overthrown by Timocles, and Mammoth will have to uh, play defense, which they don't mind. They got their D-line out there right now, so get it out of their own end and uh, see what they can do defensively. We got Stuart Jinx out there now injecting himself into the game. A youngin, part of the Australian under 20 team. Headed to Poland later in the year. Wallace with the disc. He gets it to Jackson and Copeland is laying out every chance he gets. He's all over him right now. Hatfield down with the disc. Hatfield gets it to Stenstrom. Stenstrom looks for the early one. Doesn't get it, but gets it to Jackson. He winds up and holsters and then gets it to Matthews Hunter. Pops it to Stenstrom. Stenstrom looks to go around, but good defense makes him go up line to McManus as Cook comes back on the mark here. McManus, we got to pick Colt as he Hatfield returns the disc to McManus. McManus with the disc. Stenstrom, Matthews Hunter, 25 meters out, maybe 30. Wallace, small gainer there. Looks for Stenstrom, gets him. Stenstrom forward to Wallace. Wallace puts it out in front. AJ can score if he gets this, and he does. Fishwick back on the board, 4-13. Pets, you need 
to give me Tim. Tough uh, drop on the other field there in a 10 10 game. End zone uh, shot couldn't be held on to for Clench. They'll be hoping to change that luck in the last couple of minutes of this game. Holmes inside out, Ripper. Sebastian Brown settles. It's going to go over his head. That's a beautiful pull as he runs it up to the front cone. Fishwick there with their zone, ready to go. Pops it to McNaughton. He'll not be afraid to rip it, but he's just gone over the top to Booth. Booth to Perry. Perry to Brown. Brown, McNaughton. McNaughton, Stewart, Stewart, Perry. They're cutting this zone up. The first few throws were a little bit of a drama until McNaughton went over top. Now Garfield goes all the way over to Booth. Double helix in for the score. Not the prettiest hammer I've ever seen at Aber, but it's effective to get there for the goal. And we're gonna see Ruben soon giving us some dance moves, indicating that we've got a match point in hand. Thanks, Ruben. <laughs> Cook rolls a pull out. Hatfield stops it. Stenstrom picks it up. Stenstrom to Hatfield. Hatfield to Stenstrom. Stenstrom. Hatfield over his head. Wallace with a chance. McGuckin with a bid. Flying bodies all over the place in blue. Allen walks to the disc. Calls Murphy to his opposite flank. He wants to put one, everybody else is doing it. Why can't he have a chance? Gucking bids for him, but uh, that might be his uh, hucking license revoked. You had your one chance, Alan. Just kidding, mate, good shot. Uh, and Stenstrom walking to the disc under the watchful eye of Elliot Cook. Puts it into play. Jackson shaking and baking gets open under Locke Murphy. Then puts it up, it's floaty in traffic. Bonnie there, but it goes over his head. Goes to Hatfield, he fakes the big. Now he engages his dump, which is Stenstrom, and can't get there, and there's a call. Foul called. Foul on Mammoth. So, still Fishwick disc. Now to Stenstrom. Jackson. 
Jackson wants the big shot. He's got that throw. Nothing avails. Now Wallace, another dingo. Tries to go over the top and McGuckin gets the block. Wallace doesn't want to contest that. McGuckin playing out of his skin this game. A few of these mammoth boys are, I must say. Finn McCarthy Adams. He wants McGuckin to run. Everybody's going to make this kid lay out, but none of them are going to give him the goal yet. Matthews Hunter walks to the disc. And the disc makes its way to the line. Let's go, Lock. All under, mate. All under, mate. All under. Lock a bit closer now. All under, still Lock. All under. Elliot baits him into throwing it to the sideline. The bait works. Now they're on the sideline with the force towards said sideline. AJ puts it up line. He's got a great shot to Stenstrom. Stenstrom sends it. He's got Hatfield. Finn McCarthy max it. The Mac counts as an assist. This is a case of catching your D's. McCarthy on the assist. Hatfield with the goal. They're on opposite teams. Here it is again. Jackson to Stenstrom. Stenstrom puts it up. Great play by McCarthy. Unfortunate turn of events. Gets there first. Keeps the rotation going the same way. Mid-air correction. Gives him a Mac. That's an assist. 5-14. Still match point. Here we go, McCallum puts it into play. Mammoth on game point with disc in hand. And offside, they're gonna make him do it again. This is the second time we've caught one on camera. Uh, Ruben Berg doing his job, indicating that the pole was offside. Mammoth happy to take their, his word for it and call them on it, whether they saw it themselves or not. Caught red-handed, they'll pull again. Here is the pull. Here they come. And only just offside, only just. Offside is offside, and it was Orange Shoes. That's John O. Holmes, who would have been the one uh, traveling over. Here comes McCallum. That's an onside pull. They're again, offside called, and they're going to call him on it again. Hey, can you get your pull straight, would you? Fishwick. Ooh, they're taking it in the middle of the field. A mega brick. I've never seen this advantage granted in a game of ultimate. This is, if the other one's a brick, this is the cinder block. A midfield central start. Cinder, Abra rips it. Not a surprise. Has Perry. Byers on the chase. Whoa, what a catch. They both got their hands on it. The offense ripped it out. He would have had it anyways if they both shared it. But I do, and I think resolved that 
Gareth caught it first and Will caught it from his hands and ripped it out because Fishwick has the disc. There was a little conversation. Matthews Hunter to Phil Swan. Swan fakes, then gives to his dump, Matthews Hunter. Matthews Hunter to Holmes. Holmes wants the big, doesn't give it, returns to Matthews Hunter. Matthews Hunter. Over to number five on the close sideline. Now back to Matthews Hunter. Come on, Reed! Try the middle, try the middle. He gets it to Gareth Byers, middle of the field. Swan. Swan looking for answers, doesn't have a cut. Gets a cut, ooh, and a ground strip there. Had it for a second, lost it. Abra waits for Booth to get a bit of ground and rips it to him. He's got him. The team needs to catch up now. His teammates motioning for him to burn one, but he doesn't. He gets it to Stewart. Stewart puts it in space in the end zone. Seb Brown with the catch and the win. We are going to turn our coverage over. Uh, Ruben, before we turn over, you want to tell us about the onside, offsides rather and uh, what happened there. We've n I've never seen that advantage given as we turn over to the other field. We're just gonna go straight over to the other field here. Dogma and Clench in a battle. Clench has come from behind and are now up by one. These boys have been in two universe point games. The last two fixtures have been on the unfortunate end of both of them in a tight one again here. Dogma holds on, great bid. 14 rips it. He's got number 11. He's got a goal, it's all tied up, 11 all. Okay, on the other field, Chodos with the disc. Gets it to Schisling Jostling. Shilton Jostling. And now to Hodgson. Big pressure, 11 all. Ooh, -hoo, and Hodgson. A sloppy throw there. Dogma get a hand on it. And Dogma with a chance now on the doorstep. 71 for Dogma. Gets it forward. 15 now. 15, mounting stall count. Throws the hammer. Graham JS gets himself a D, huge D after a Hodgson error. Clench get another chance here. Shouldn't jostling. Now to Forest, Forest, gets it forward to Sharma. 
Now Jostling. Jostling to Chodos. Chodos. To Forrest. Forrest to Shilton Jostling. Shilton Jostling jacks it. He's got M there. It's a good disc. He's got a goal. 12 11. Closing moments of this game. Okay, Andy Wood rips a pull. Good pull. Gonna make it very near that end zone. And Dogma from Christchurch set out the other way. 11 with the disc. Looking for his options. Gets a dump, 21. Gets a forward to 11, looks to move it quick. Ops out. 11 again, gets it forward to 87, Yuang on the mark. Forward to 14, we've now crossed half field with Dogma. Looking for his option, nothing yet, stall count mounting. Still barking orders. Surely a very high point in the stall count, gets 68. And a stall count called uh, by my non-counting brain. It certainly seemed like a very long time to have disc in hand. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Um, what's the what's the date for this? And what well, what specific event is this for? The so typically the a neighbor have picked out you and another guy. Oh, okay. Um, um, the specific date. Okay. Um, I'll have to so not like sure what they're discussing over there, whether it was contact or whether it was stall count. Uh, don't have the luxury of having the game advisors on this field and working with us. These guys got to work it out all by themselves, and that means we have to uh, guess as far as our broadcasting goes a little bit. 68 now. Pops it up, has 73 on the doorstep now, forwards it. Touchdown. It's tie game, 12 all. She's doing a really good yes, yes. He did. I know, I can tell. I got it on.
Look at this, the sun is out. And it's 12 all, can you believe it? I don't know what is more puzzling, the fact that we see sun in Ballarat or that Clench is nearly in another universe point game. Uh, Clench and Dogma fighting to stay up in the top eight now. Uh, bit of a crowd gathering, not even sure who has the disc. It's Graham Schistling jostling now to Halden. Halden to Chodos. Chodos to Halden. Popping through his zone. That's uh, where Max was born. Now to look for Chodos again. Gets a gainer to Sharma. Sharma. Surveying options to Chodos. Flicks it over his shoulder. Bit of a backhand. And the stun is still shining. Rob Swan now with the disc. He gets it upfield immediately to Martin Forrest. Forrest taps it in. Now he gets it to Alex Shepard. Now to Rob Swan. Swan gets it under to Forrest. We've got something slowing down again. Pick called. Now to Shepard, he's got it. Is he in? No, it's coming back. Just about ready to tap it back in here. Here we are, Martin Forrest, high release. Gets the turn, pick called, pick called on the continue, but Max says forget it, let's continue. It's picked up, it's hocked, he's got a man, Swan there though, catches his D, rips it the other way, great hands by Shepard. Shepard gets it to Shil Shilton Jostling. Shilton Jostling in front of Swan, and a turnover. Dogma again, a long point this one. Timeout called. Wise on a long point. Yeah, 
Just about ready to come back from the timeout. Dogma will have the disc. 12 12, not much separates at the moment. Gets it forward. Far sideline, number 11 with the disc. Now gets it to 13, safe hands. 87 for Dogma, moving backwards, floaty one. Andy Wood, two people go up and the rescue man gets it. Hammer to the end zone. Panda hat, 42 with the catch. 13-12. Clench behind and another close one. Clench have been up in their two losses today. Yeah, at cap, up by two. They've lost two when they've been up by two at cap. Huge, my favorite. Here we go, Clench on 13-12, they're down one. Martin Forrest with the disc. The sun unbelievably still shining here in Ballarat as Chodos gets it to Halden. Looking at a zone here from Dogma, the Christchurch boys now to Alex Shepard and over to Forrest. He, gets, he looks for the gainer, his man goes deep. The defense cuts down the throw and Dogma going the other way. 32 for Dogma, resets 13 under our cameras. Now number seven, Dogma looking good, fluid movement, chipping away at some forward meters. Decent resets, 15. Hot stall count mounting, he flips one up to 13 in nearly the same spot. Now, nah, oh, he's got a man. I thought Yu Eng had a chance to come under, but not quite enough time. On the doorstep there, a crowd in front, altering view. Max Halden lays out just watching the disc go beyond him as, as New Zealand take a two-point lead and see themselves on game point. That is the Hooter. Doesn't matter, we're playing to 15, no matter how long it takes now. Uh, joined with Al Don here on the sideline. Al, uh, the Wombats were in the showcase game yesterday. Uh, you got t touched up a little bit by the young Brisbane boys there. How's your day gone since then? Tell us about the Wombats day. Uh, well, the Wombats, uh came out and uh, gave New Zealand a bit of a break and then had a hard fought game, unfortunately went down, which knocked us out of the hunt. So it's been a little bit disappointing, but for us this is all about the journey. We're, uh, we're moving forward looking towards London and looking to play for ninth tomorrow. 
going out in the wind, getting the odd number. Excellent. I like uh, I like the positivity and like you said, uh, bigger picture here is learning, gelling, uh, getting it all together for the big tournament. This reason this team's put together. So back and play, Dogma. Beautiful pull. It's got the distance. It's got the float. They will be fully set by the time Graham watches that land in. Still, wow, perfect pull. Maybe a few more meters to make it absolutely perfect, but brilliant nonetheless. Now they're moving through a zone nicely as Dogma count, anticipating a transition. Shepard with the disc, gets it to Wee. Wee back to Chodos. Chodos, having a look, taking his time. Stall count mounting, Halden now comes under for him. Halden puts it deep, he's got Shepard, but it's not big enough, and Shepard comes under only to uh, have his hand close on the air around the disc. Good defense there by number seven from Dogma. No names for this Dogma team, so we're gonna have to refer to them all as per their number as we've uh, just jumped over without a roster. 71 now, far sideline. Gets his dump, gets his swing, 15. Gets the gainer, 42, wearing the panda hat. 42, oh, Max it shuts it down with the foot, but he gets it on the other side. Now 89, gets the gainer, 15 for New Zealand. They are moving up field. They are looking dangerous. This could be the end. Aldon sees them confidently, reckons they're gonna close it out on this possession. Let's see if he's got the mystic powers within him or not. Here we go, plays back in. 15, they're going the wrong way at this stage, but very safe, very fluid. That one gets up and well caught by 71. 13, little flicky, over, high release flicky. Continues jamming it down that sideline. Pick called. <laughs> 71 about to tap it back in. Uh, about 10 meters or less perhaps from the line now. Not looking good for clench. They're gonna need uh, nothing short of a miracle to keep, uh, keep this game alive for much longer. Alex Shepard there on the mark with his hand in his pocket, but completion still made, and that's at the back of the end zone. Could be the little taste of a miracle that Clench needs to start what would have to be a three-point run to uh, take this game away. In the Kiwi side, showed up uh, doing their warm-ups in Australian jerseys today. Uh, was that the case in, in their game against you? It was absolutely the case. It was a little confusing. Uh, I would like to see him play in the Australian colours because we all know that they do see themselves as, well, an, an, an extra part of Australia, really. Uh, I'm sure they would hate to hear that, but uh, they deserve to hear it, I suppose, for their little... Uh, play by wearing the jersey. We've got a shot to the end zone. Gunn is underneath it. Can he get there? Oh, loses his legs just as it sails to the back of the end zone. Overhucking over from Clench. Just too far. Yeah, a little bit too strong. These winds are helping some of them move, I suspect, as well. But you're right. Uh, the shots are just a bit too far. They've been a team that have had success on the end of the hucking. Uh, and you know you live by the sword you die by the sword to some end and uh, today so far has not been their day but they get a break here no need to huck from this close so we could be good he's gone hammer though the next best thing if you can't huck throw it upside down he's got we for the goal chip in a chair heart hope in a prayer that's what they say in poker they're still in it 13-14 
Hey, Steph, can you film my corner tomorrow? Oh, that's so weird, yeah. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I know you're persuasive. You all know me. We play better than you. Hey, okay, boys! Here Dogma! Dogma. Under the disc. 13 14. Game point in hand now. They did have it in hand before, but now on the pull. And Maple, Roundtree, off his feet. Great grab. Forrest with the disc now. If he can score here, we will set up an uncanny third universe point game for Clench. He's got it to Forrest. He wanted to quickly move it, and there's a call. Imagining a pick. Discussion on the field. <laughs> Stakes are high out there. Just a short distance to travel now to give the fans what they want. It's in. Forrest with the disc. Looks to break. He does break. Latham's got it. He's in. Great catch by Brett Latham. Be nice throw to get around, but it wasn't perfect position, and Latham made a great grab, watched his toe land in bounds. And 14 all, we've got a battle for the entire universe coming up. Al, we've been talking about the trend of this clench. You mentioned earlier that they've gone into both of their universe points games with the advantage of receiving the pull and the lead going in. This is the first time they won't. What do we think uh, as far as our superstitions would lead us to believe? Uh, I wouldn't put it past these uh, clench boys to have deliberately given the lead away only to come back on sudden death after time. I, it's the way that their minds work. They're a strange bunch of boys. We love them for the way they're unique and uh, play this game with a, uh, <laughs> with, with a, a joy about it. Max just uh, complaining about the plight of Universe Point and what it's done to him today. But uh, it, I'll give you my commentary bias that our fingers here at Ulti TV are crossed in hopes that Clench can pull this one off and get the D and the score. Here we go. Here come the marbles. The fat lady's about to sing. One way or another, this game will end at the end of this point. Will it be Clench? Will it be Dogma? Only time will tell. Forrest puts up the pull. Outside in, arcing pull. Oh, knocks him over. Almost cut his hand off. 73 gets it. Is he okay to throw? That was wobbly. We have to question whether that pull injured his hand or not. 15 dumps to 73. He's got it again. He seems to be okay. He's got it to his flank, 71. Shaking and baking. 73's cut up line for him, but covered well. He gets 15 coming under, then gives the up line to 71. 71 having a look. It's all on the line here, ladies and gentlemen. 13 can't close his hands. He's dropped the disc, and Clench have a gift. What will they do with this gift? Will they sit patiently under the tree and unwrap it? nicely and know that they're gonna get something good inside or will they just look to shred the paper off oh and the paper shredding happened and dogma have the disc again 73 with his hand recovered from that pull block now four gets it over thrown over his shoulder now back to 13 far sideline center of the field centered now in the middle of the field Gets a gainer, small gainer, 71 with the disc. Dogma, 30 meters out. Full Cray is the call, this point. Both teams have had possessions, both chances to win. Timeout, late game timeout. That should uh, make things even less tense when they come back to play. Basing, basing this on Max Halden's logic, an in-game timeout when under the camera has a 0% chance of uh, punching in on their offensive possession. So I'm certain he's hoping that his own statistical claims will come true on this occasion. 
Al, what did you like about that last bit of the point? Tell me, tell me your thoughts. I, uh, I'd agree with Max here. I don't like the in-game timeout call much. I think it's a blight on the game and could be removed. A blight may be strong, but I think it's a, it's a luxury that could be removed and very rarely actually results in a positive outcome for the team calling the timeout. We talked about this last night uh, during the Wombats Mammoth game as well uh, with Regaki and Halden in the commentary box. And we were all of uh, a very similar impression, or, uh, opinion rather, that uh, the game could very much live without it. And, and the way that people are playing now where it is about this war of attrition and uh, you know really enduring through these long tournaments, that would, uh, that would just make it that much more macho, I suppose, you know? It make the game a bit tougher, make the wins a bit more satisfying. Well, we should have, we should have less than uh, 30 seconds now and we should hopefully be in play. They've broken up from their huddles. Clench, desperate for a D. Dogma, hoping someone will catch it past those cones. And 14 stands over the disc. His team still moving into their readied positions. Defense waiting for the indication that they are ready. And now they will take their marks. Here we go, people. Universe point, part two. Post timeout, 2.0, or maybe 1.1, depending on how you're looking at it. Phil White, last man to come to his mark. He's coming to the man on the disc. And in three, two, one, we are playing ultimate. Universe point 14, fakes. Let's see what they've drawn up. They've drawn up a dump. It looks like they've succeeded. They've got two dumps, well done. 15 now with the disc. And they're playing patient ultimate. They just wanted to get it moving, maybe get their breath back. Not too much of a set play. He's not in yet, but he is on the doorstep. What will he do? He's found his man, his feet are in. And Clench are having a hard time succumbing to defeat this third time on Universe Point, but it is the inevi inevitability that they've got to deal with. Clench go down, three Universe Point games in a row. Chick, chick, boom, it's all over. We'll see you tomorrow with more action from Alti TV on Sky Magazine.